hello friends uh, welcome back uh, we have seen two videos on uh, introduction part so now we will see a uh, few numerical examples on the bolted connections so first let me start with the first example that is the easiest one uh, now here uh, he, uh, he has asked us to find the efficiency of the lap joint which is shown below we have to use m20 bolts of grade 4.6 and fe 410 grade plates and we need to find what is the efficiency of this joint means how much is the load carrying capacity of this joint as compared to the joint uh, as compared to the solid plate so now uh, to find the efficient efficiency of the joint which we have already seen uh, how to find the efficiency of the joint that is eta okay that is eta is equal to strength of joint that is the efficiency of the joint is given as eta which is given as strength of joint divided by strength of solid plate since we are expressing this in terms of percentage we need to multiply it by 100 we have seen uh, in uh, first video uh, second video how to find the efficiency of the joint that is strength of joint your best strength of solid plate multiplied by 100 so uh, we will see one by one uh, what is strength of joint okay so first let me find out the strength of joint now before i find actually the strength of joint i need to actually find a term called bolt strength now how to find this bolt strength bolt strength is actually minimum of design shear capacity of the bolt and design bearing capacity of the bolt we need to find design shear capacity of the bolt and design bearing capacity of the bolt whichever is minimum that will be actually the bolt strength now uh, once i find bolt strength uh, i can easily find the strength of joint by multiplying the bolt strength with the number of bolts that is n here the number of bolts are 1 2 3 4 5 6 six numbers of m20 grade 4.6 bolts have been provided with a pitch distance of 60 and edge distances of 30 mm so uh, before uh, jumping on finding the strength of joint i need to first find bolt strength to find bolt strength i need vdsb and i need to find vdpb right so we'll find uh, those things one by one so here uh, vdsb that is design shear capacity of the bolt is given as nominal bearing capacity of the bolt okay uh, my mistake nominal shear capacity of the bolt divided by the partial safety factor for the bolt material now the nominal shear capacity of the bolt is given as okay f u by root 3 which is the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt material n n a n b plus n s a s b this is the nominal shear capacity of the bolt to find design shear capacity of the bolt i need to divide this whole term by gamma mb so we'll find so if you use the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt material uh, we have seen that in the problem definition itself he has given we have to use grade 4.6 so for a grade 4.6 the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt material is 400 divided by root 3 and i've also explained how to find nn and ns but actually in this problem he has not given the clear idea of where the shear plane will fall we will assume that the shear plane intercept the threaded portion so in that case ns should be equal to zero so when ns becomes zero this whole term will be zero so since uh, the uh, uh, shear plane is intercepting with the threaded portion nn is equal to one multiplied by anb is the cross section area of the bolt at the threaded portion which is given as 0.8 times pi by 4 into d square where d is the diameter of the bolt so diameter of the bolt is 20 20 square this divided by 1.25 so with all these calculations design shear capacity of the bolt 
uh, I'm getting out to be 46.43 kilonewton 46.43 kilonewton so this is the design shear capacity of the volt so we have found first one and we need to find the second one that is the uh, design bearing capacity of the volt that is VDPB so this VDPB is given as nominal bearing capacity of the bolt divided by gamma MB so what is nominal bearing capacity of the bolt it is 2.5 times KB D T F U divided by gamma MB right so we'll find each and every term one by one KB is actually minimum of KB is minimum of E by 3 D naught so where e is the edge distance so as per IS 800 the minimum edge distance should be 1.5 times the nominal diameter of the board in our case it is 20 so divided by 3 times D naught is the clearance hole dia so since our board dia is 20 so clearance should be plus 2 mm that is uh, 22 so here I am getting this value to be 0 0.45 right the second is P by 3 D naught minus 0 0.25 where P is the pitch and as per IC attended the minimum pitch value should be 2.5 times the nominal diameter of the board divided by 3 times the clearance hole minus 0.25 so this I think I am getting out to be 0.65 so the third one value is FUB by FU where FUB is the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt that is 400 divided by FU is the ultimate tensile strength of the plate so in the problem you can see he has told us to use FE 410 grid so this 410 indicates actually the ultimate tensile strength of the plate so this FU should be here 410 so this comes out to be 0 0.97 and the fourth value is 1.0 so we have four values here they are 1.0 0 0.97 0 0.65 and 0 0.45 so out of all these four values whichever is minimum that will be actually the value of KB so I can see 0.45 is the minimum therefore KB is equal to 0 0.45 so we know the value of KB now so let us directly find out the design bearing capacity of the bolt so that is 2.5 times KB is 0 0.45 D actually indicates the diameter of the bolt which is used in our case here it is 20 now here comes the main question T is actually as per IS 800 2007 it is summation of thicknesses of the plates okay it is summation of thicknesses of the plates which are experiencing bearing in the same direction now here what happens this plate is actually pulled in this direction and this plate is actually pulled in this direction so if I see this top plate this top plate is having the bearing here okay so the bearing is on this side means the bolt is putting the bearing on this and this bolt is also putting the bearing on this now if I see the bottom plate you can see that the bearing is on this face okay so this bolt is putting the bearing in the here and this bolt is putting the bearing in this now both of these two plates are having the bearing in the other directions that is opposite directions so in that case out of these two plates the plate which is having the lesser thickness that should be taken but fortunately in our case both the plates are having the same thicknesses so I should take T as 20 okay then this FU indicates actually the ultimate tensile strength of the plate and not that of the bolt explain this already so this divided by 1.25 so let's just let me check out how much I am getting so I am getting this to be 147.6 kilonewton right 147.6 kilonewton therefore VD 
PB is equal to 147.6 kilo Newton that is the design bearing capacity of the bolt so we have found design shear capacity of the bolt and also we have found the design bearing capacity of the bolt we can see that out of these two design shear capacity of the bolt is minimum which is 46.43 therefore bolt strength is equal to 46.43 kilo newton so we can say here in a generalized manner m20 bolt of grade 4.6 in single shear is having a bolt strength of 46.43 kN. so we have found the bolt strength so we need to actually find strength of joint we need to actually find strength of joint here so i told you strength of joint is actually the number of bolts multiplied by the bolt strength so we know that in this problem we have six bolts multiplied by 46.43 kN so let me check out I am getting 278.58 kN 278.58 kN as the strength of joint right so we have found strength of joint so now let me find out the strength of solid plate so the strength of solid plate which uh, will be the denominator in the efficiency formula strength of solid plate that is TDG it is denoted by TDG is equal to AG multiplied by FY divided by gamma M0 so AG is actually um, B into T that is width multiplied by the thickness of the plate so FY is 250 so that is the uh, yield strength of the plate material divided by gamma m0 is 1.1 so the width of the plate is 180 which is given multiplied by 2 uh, multiplied by 20 is the thickness of the plate so uh, if the both the plates are having the different thicknesses we need to actually find the th uh, put the thickness of the thinner plate multiplied by 250 divided by 1.1 so TDG value I am getting out to be 818.18 818.18 kilo okay so I also got the denominator in the efficiency formula so now let me find out actually efficiency that is eta is equal to strength of joint which is 270 8.58 in terms of kilo newton divided by strength of solid plate that is 818.18 multiplied by 100 therefore eta that is efficiency is equal to 34.04 percent so it means that this joint with six bolts of this fashion can take 34.4 percent of the load that can be taken by the strength of that can be taken by a solid plate without any deduction of holes that is the meaning of that okay so we'll see uh, one more type of problem in the next video till then bye bye thank you